Hello everyone, good day once again and welcome to our session for today. So this is uh, still in the topic on the related rates. So in this uh, video, I will uh, show you another example class. Okay, so before we go to the example, uh, let's uh, recall what are related rates. So when we speak of related rates, so th those are problems that involves rate of rates of change of related variables. Okay, so each of the variables involved has a specific relationship with values of time t. So t is a measure of time. The relationship is usually expressed in the form of an equation, which represents the mathematical model of the situation. So, as uh, discussed last time, we have the strategy no, for solving related rates problems. Okay, number one, we have to draw a diagram depicting the problem and name the variables and constants. Then use the variable t for time. Assume all variables are differentiable functions of t. Then write down any given numerical information in terms of the variables or rates of chains of the variables. And the third one is write down what is asked in the problem, usually a rate expressed as a derivative. Okay, and number four, write an equation that relates the variables. And number five, differentiate implicitly with respect to t, both sides of the equation obtained in step number four. Then express the rate ask in terms of the variables or rates of chains of the variables whose values are known. Then number six, evaluate the expressed rate obtained in step number five to find the unknown rate. Okay, for example, a stone is dropped into a steel pan. Concentric circles, ripples, spread out and the radius of the disturbed region increases at the rate of 16 cm per second. At what rate does the area of the disturbed region increase when its radius is 4 cm? Still remember? Uh, familiar? familiar with this problem. So one of the problem that came up in our prelim examination is uh, exactly uh, like this one. Uh, the given was just uh, trains but the process and solution uh, is just the same. Okay so as I mentioned uh, to you class before the prelim exam I, I said that uh, part of the or one of the problems that will come up in our prelim examination will be taken from the topic related rates. So here's the solution to this problem. So one item in your prelim exam is exactly like this one. Uh, the given was just uh, varied a little bit. Okay, so for the solution, uh, we have here the ripples. Now when the stone is dropped into the water, so it will create ripples. And you see as time goes by the ripples, uh, getting bigger and bigger all right so it looks like this is uh, circular ripples okay so it form a circle with a radius equal to so uh, generally it's equal to r the radius okay and then uh, using the steps in solving the problem so we let r be the radius in terms of centimeter as mentioned in the problem, the unit is in centimeter. So radius in centimeter of a circle at time t. Then A is the area in terms of square centimeter. So area of the circle at time t. Okay, so we're given R equal to 4 centimeter. And the rate of change of the radius with respect to time is given as 16 centimeter per, per second. And we are asked to find that. The derivative of a with respect to time or the rate of change of the area as the ripples are uh, uh, getting uh, bigger and bigger 
So what is the rate of change of the area? Okay, so as you have seen uh, earlier, so the area is just something like this. Okay, so at time as time goes by, it grows like this and continuously growing, growing, growing. All right, until it becomes uh, this big uh, circle. Okay, so after uh, having all these items uh, laid down, so we have to write down the formula. What is the formula of a circle? So the formula of a circle is given as area equal to pi r squared. Okay, so the next step says that we have to uh, differentiate implicitly. So implicitly class means we have to take the derivative uh, of the equation on both sides. So derivative of a with respect to time derivative of this right side part with respect to time and we know if pi is a constant so uh, when you take derivative you apply the power rule here so power rule so we have power or exponent 2 so it will go down so multiplied by 2 pi r and don't forget to take the derivative of the variable with respect to r so that's why we have dr over dt okay so this is now our equation uh, after differentiating both sides implicitly okay so substituting the given so the given we have pi uh, sorry we have 2 here and then pi is constant so 2 times pi r is given as 4 centimeter uh, the radius is 4 centimeters and the rate of change of the uh, radius with respect to time is given as 16 centimeter per second so therefore the rate of change of the area with respect to time equal to 120 pi centimeter squared per second okay so don't forget this is area okay so area means we have square of the given unit okay so this is the conclusion class hence the area is increasing at the rate of 128 uh, sorry class it's uh, lacking you know, there's uh, there should be a pi here 128 pi so the pi was missing so 128 times pi so I'll change this to so 128 pi Okay. square centimeter per second so hence the area is increasing at the rate of 128 pi square centimeter per second when the radius is 4 centimeter okay so this is it so that's uh, how easy class this uh, rate of change uh, solving rate of change uh, problems or related rate related rates Okay, so we have here another example, but uh, I want you to try it, and uh, next time uh, I will show you the solution to this problem, but first I want you to attempt it yourselves. Okay, so we have here the example, a 13-foot ladder resting on a horizontal ground is leaning against a vertical wall when its base starts to slide away from the wall. By the time the base is 12 feet from the wall, the base is moving at the rate of 5 feet per second. Questions A. How fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall then? B. How fast is the area of the triangle formed by the ladder, wall, and the ground changing? Okay, so this is for your additional practice class. And um, next video, I will show you the solution to this problem okay so that's all for today thank you very much have a nice day stay safe and healthy always god bless bye everyone